Me, I'm just proud of the fact that you've done it your way And the weekend's here, started it right Even if you only get part of it right Live for today, plan for tomorrow Party tonight, party tonight Time to meet your girlfriend Okay, friends. guys, I know you all are probably wondering, like Why does she already have on makeup? I have on some foundation already and I already did my brows oh my gosh the struggle was so real with these brows like oh my god but let's not even chat about that and I put on just a little bit of eyeshadow you know just a little two minute eyeshadow idea nothing fancy because I didn't want I wanted to do something that seems a little bit like it's not there because I'm going to be doing and wing eyeliner as well as inner liner tutorial and that's the whole purpose of why I was doing my makeup so yeah you guys if you like like Amber Skull or Aaliyah J's inner liner. I am going to be recording that so you can expect to see that this week. But anyway, to make a long story short, I had already started my makeup because I was kind of on the fence about doing and chit chat get ready with me and I decided not to. So I just was doing my makeup and watching you know, catching up on my subscriptions, watching makeup tutorials on my computer. Came across Aaliyah J, one of her newer makeup videos, and a lot of people was under there saying things like she got plastic surgery and things like that people have been saying that she had like a butt job and things of that sort and you know it made me just want to kind of touch up on that or something or speak up because she's not doing it she's not really responding to those type of comments and stuff so so with that being said i just want to you know talk about that a little bit so, the new thing that everyone is saying that she got her, her cheeks done and her lips done. And at first they were saying she got her butt done. So, first off you guys, I think I want to address the facial surgeries. Like, as far as her lips and cheeks goes. I'm not against plastic surgery. I have never had plastic surgery. And, you know, like, as far as the butt goes... If you guys seen my videos, I naturally have a butt. Sometimes I be like, it needs to be a little smaller, my whole body. But yeah. Anyway, I already have a butt, and um, as far as plastic surgery goes, I don't have any plastic surgery, and I really don't plan on getting any plastic surgery at the moment. But yeah, but even though I'm not. Even though I don't have any plastic surgery and I don't plan on getting any anytime soon, um, I'm not into plastic surgery. I feel like if it's something that is like absolutely bothering you like to the fullest, to the point where you're like just miserable about yourself, then I feel like it is kind of, it's fine. And yeah, you guys, so all products that I am using will be posted down below. So don't fret yourself. So yeah, I feel like if it's something that is just making you miserable in your everyday life, that is bothering you, then I feel like, yeah, and, and you have the money, I feel like I'm all for you getting it, that person getting it done. But if it's something you can live with and it doesn't bother you that bad, I'm like, just live with it. <laughs> you know how many things we have to just live with, but... Anyway, to make a long story short, so yeah, about her face, um, I've been watching Aaliyah J for a while, so I really don't believe, I don't know her personally, but I don't believe she would get her cheeks bigger because I seen her complain about her cheeks, and it's like, come on now, who cares about having bigger cheeks, especially someone who already has fuller cheeks, like, what would be the purpose? Um, now, if it was vice versa and they said that she got her cheeks smaller, I would be like, well, maybe she did. I'm not saying that she needed smaller because she doesn't. Aaliyah J is a beautiful girl. She looks fine just the way she is. And I feel like far as butt jobs, anything else goes, she was fine before all of that if she got it done. So, um, yeah, she looked just fine. I don't think she should touch anything. I mean... She felt like she admitted to getting a boob job and she said that she felt self-conscious or like a little girl or something she was saying. So she decided to get a boob job. So, okay, I feel her on that. If it was make her absolutely um, not happy with herself or miserable or whatever, 
do it. Or maybe like a lot of women that I know personally who got boob jobs, they didn't feel like a woman. So maybe that was her case, I don't know. But yeah, as far as her cheeks goes, I really do not believe she got her cheeks done. Like, how do you guys, she could be pregnant, who knows? Like, you guys be too much into her business sometimes. You guys be wondering a little too much for me sometimes. And maybe she gains weight easily in her face, who knows? But I really do not believe that she got her cheeks done. Not her cheeks done to look bigger, like. I just don't think she did. As far as her lips goes, to me, Aaliyah J always had like full lips, so uh, I don't think she went there, but I don't know. Hopefully, it'll come out in the future, and if she did, she'll admit to it, but I can tell that she feels some type of way about people saying things about her cheeks and her lips on that one video that I was mentioning because I click refresh and the video is just gone. It's like not there. <laughs> So she deleted it because of all of the comments and stuff. I looked everywhere for it just to see if um, it was still there and it isn't. So I'm like, okay, well, dang, she felt some type of way. And it was another video too. I think she deleted that one as well. But she do have other new videos since then. Did she put up a hair, like a hair tutorial? And did she have another makeup look, like a highlight contour that she did not delete? So y'all yeah, getting around to this a little late, you guys, because I like be busy sometimes, and sometimes I just don't have enough time to watch the videos and my subscriptions. So anyway, you guys, I don't know if she got her list done. It did look a little fuller. It could be the new camera. It could be, I don't know, the plump and lip gloss that she tried to mention in her other video. It, I don't know. Like, it could be the fact that she didn't really line her lips in that video. Or it could be anything. But yeah, but I just feel like, okay, as far as her butt goes, um, she did mention it a little bit in one of her vlogs. She said, maybe I have a fake butt, maybe I don't. <laughs> okay, my opinion on that is that she did get a butt job. What did she get? Butt shots or anything like that? I don't know. I'm not a doctor. And I'm good, I'm usually good at these things, but I wanna say she got injections because she doesn't really have enough fat to get like the transfer. And um, it's not implants because implants look very fake and square and her butt looks pretty natural. So I'm thinking maybe some type of healthy injections, I'm not sure. But however, whatever she got, I think that she did get something done because she didn't deny it. She just said, maybe I do, maybe I don't. So that leads me to believe she did. And on top of that, most people don't gain weight only in the butt. Like, when I gain weight, yes, I gain a lot of weight in the butt. But I also gain thighs, hips, sometimes even saddle beds. Like, it just doesn't, I don't know anyone out of all the people I know I have never known someone just to only gain weight in the butt. So, there was definitely something done. I, I feel about that, yes, she got something done. It's not the end of the world. She's not gonna lose many fans. She's still gonna be getting her coins. She's still gonna be her. What she got done does not make her her. So, it's not like she's gonna be a different person. She's still Aaliyah J. She's just the new and approved. Aaliyah J 2.0. Some people feel like it's improved. I feel like she was great before. She's great now. But I don't feel like now she got a butt job. Like she was popping then. She's popping now. So I don't know. Yeah, I just feel like people just, first of all, being people business too much. Second of all, I feel like. You guys, I cannot deal, like, I cannot do my makeup with the mirror on this side. Like, I don't know. It's not life. <laughs> like, I have to have it over here for some reason. But I don't know if it's like a right-handed thing or something. But it's just not working with the mirror over there. So, you guys have to bear with me looking over to the right because this is just not working over here. So, anyway... I feel like I said she's new and approved only because that's how you guys feel. I don't feel that way. I feel like she was great before. She's great now. 
she was getting coins then she's getting coins now <laughs> probably more so because you guys are making her more relevant by study talking about her quote unquote fake butt but I'm not mad at it <laughs> like do you boo do you get your money baby whatever just do you but yeah, sometimes it's just people's own insecurities that get to them. Like, I don't think a man or anyone, period, look at her like, oh my gosh, she didn't have any butt because she had a little booty before the butt job to me. She had a little, her butt was poppy. Let's just say that. And I don't know, she just, that I guess it's something that she wanted to do with. Like I said before, if it's something that's going to make you happy or something you feel the need to do, then by any means, do it. And, um, yeah, like, I just feel like why everybody talking about her and the ones that's talking about her butt job in a negative light, I feel like why you guys are talking about her and saying mean and rude things, she's getting her coins. Like, you guys are making her more popular, so... Y'all kind of working against y'all self. Those are for the ones that dislike Aaliyah J. Like, okay, it's 2017. If she did get a butt job, like, come on now. I know I see butt jobs, like, almost on a daily basis. So, it's like, get over it. Now, if she had, like, a whack butt job, then that would be something to talk about. But it looks great, so... What is there to talk about and keep dragging this song along and tormenting this girl, I guess? Yeah, I don't, I just, I don't get it. But, hey, her butt is fake. She doing a damn thing. She's popping. A lot of people is going to be mad at me. I'm going to probably get like mad lash underneath my video. Like, they're probably going to try to make it seem like. They're gonna put it on me. They're not gonna say that. Like, oh, bitch, you take it off her. They're probably not gonna say nothing like that, but they're probably gonna turn it all on me. Like, oh, bitch, look at your brows or something like that. But I have heard it all. So, where I'm from, I heard it all. So, in person. So, what you say, what negative things you guys say to me, probably won't, it won't break me. Because. Up, me through a lot. <laughs> like, try again. So yeah, um, I know I'm gonna get a lot of backlash for this, but it is what it is. I just had to give my opinion because I can tell that the girl is. I can tell it's bothering her, and sometimes I kind of feel like it's bullying. And like she mentioned before, she has been bullied, bullied a lot as a kid, and I can relate because oh my gosh, you guys like. I was bullied to the fullest. Bully is like an understatement. I'll talk about that later. I'll probably do like a story time or something. But I was bullied through grammar school. High school, I really didn't get too much bullying, shockingly. But most of my bullying was like in grammar school and stuff. And it never came to the point where it, that it got physical because I just think people knew not to with me on that level. So. Yeah, I never really got to that point, but, well, once it did, and it was a guy, it was two guys, but that's another story, and, um, other than that, people were saying, like, some rude, mean things to me, and I'll share that with you guys later on, and I get bullied to this day, like, rude comments from, like, grown-ups and stuff, sometimes when I go in public, like, it's called hate. People will hate on you like I posted an ad on Facebook a Facebook page with my makeup videos and things and I got like a lot of backlash I got like a lot of people saying ooh like what's going on with your brows and your brows is like so ugly and all the those type of rude comments and, and it was one comment out of thousands of comments it was only one comment Shockingly, with somebody calling me ugly, like nobody, no one called me ugly, but this one girl, and 
oh my gosh like the struggle was real for her life not even her looks like her life the struggle was real so how could you fit to your mouth to talk about me but anyway i'm not gonna even stoop down to her level but she had called me ugly and a lot of people like i didn't even have to say anything a lot of people was just under there like she's not ugly what are you talking about and this and that however i may be ugly to her who cares who is she she's just a uh, fan that doesn't want to admit it or a hater or whatever but yeah so so yeah like i i got rude comments on there i get rude comments from youtube all of the time I see a lot of people asking other YouTubers in their question Q and A or question and answer like how do you how do you handle YouTube bullying and haters on YouTube. My answer is that you just fucking deal with it. <laughs> Come on now, I don't know what kind of posh, good, amazing life you guys live, but in my everyday life, there's definitely shade and mean things thrown my way all the time, like, oh my gosh. So, you guys should be used to it at this point, but if you're not, if you have to ask how to handle these things, then nine times out of 10, you cannot handle it, and you probably should not be doing YouTube. I wanna encourage anyone to quit, but if you cannot handle backlash and rude comments and bullying and things of that sort, YouTube is not for you because before you gain any fans or anything of that sort, you're going to get tons of backlash, tons of haters. Like, this is an everyday thing. Every time you post, there's going to be rude comments and haters and things of that sort. So, if you cannot handle it. YouTube is not the thing for you or the job or career, whatever you want to call it. It's not for you. You need to find something else to do because... YouTube not it, girl. If you can't handle it, it is not it. So, yeah. What else did I want to touch up on? Okay. So, there was this one YouTuber. Anyway, she was saying how she fell out with one of her friends, like a real friend in her personal life. Like, not a YouTube friend, but like a real friend. And because... The girl asked for help and she said she would get her like makeup tips and everything and and stuff like that but she wouldn't shout her friend out and her friend had got mad at her and I guess they fell out so she decided to mention the situation in her video and the girl was saying oh I worked hard like, yeah she was saying like oh I worked hard for this um no one it took me a year to get on and no one shouted me out and all of these type of things and I'm like girl you just don't know it's people who have been doing this thing for like five or six years and wasn't really getting anywhere but they kept at it and now they're getting on but anyway not to go on to something else but I'm like that is the issue with black people girls in general but it's more so in the black community like we are so afraid to help family members and friends and we it's like we're afraid that someone we know is going to get ahead like girl if you don't shop this girl out or help her get on she is going to be another guru then another guru then another one so why not let it be you know your fam someone you love like someone you care about like prove like why are black people it seems like more in the black community it's a every race experience this but it's like probably 80 percent of black people are like are this way why are we so afraid to help people around us like support each other and not just youtube like i had a hair company i had a clothing company which all really didn't work out the clothing store is getting on track now but they did not work out with people that I knew just because a lot of people that I know would not support and they said because I would see them like tell me like oh I like the way you dress um loving your hair I'm loving your hair and things like that so I'm like okay I'm not gonna have any issues once I supply these chicks with this with these things um, it should be smooth selling like I'm gonna have a lot of sales because people always are asking me about these things anyway So now that I have the hair on here for you guys to buy and I have some of the top-notch clothing 
um, that you guys are throwing up memes of and pictures and saying that, oh, where can I find this? So I'm not gonna have a problem. But yeah, I had issues. And I'm saying that to say, you guys, because as, as blacks, more so than any other race, we are we act like we are so afraid to help someone. Okay, if you worked hard to get this girl. Okay, if it wasn't the easiest for you to get on. I get it, I understand it, but I don't understand why you would withhold someone that you call your friend and someone you love and care about. You should want to see them do well, whether it was handed to them easy or not. Like at the end of the day, she's still going to have to keep these people engaged and she's still going to have to work hard, edit, make videos, stay consistent in order to stay relevant. So it's like, it's not coming free for her. I mean, she's gonna, it's gonna be a little, probably a little easier than it was for you, but it's not coming free at the end of the day. So I just, I really didn't understand that concept. I really didn't understand that statement. She was saying that I'm not gonna just um, give her, make it easy for her because this is not easy at all <laughs> like for real and um another thing like when you ask to collab with gurus they act like it's the end of the world like seriously and i'm like okay so i guess it's just because they're afraid to see someone get ahead me on the other hand i don't care if i don't know you like i can meet you today on the street and you could be like oh i do youtube can we collab and if you're a cool person and you're not like super cocky or you know arrogant or mean and snobbish or anything i would do it like it's no skin off of my back i'm not going to make less money i am not it's not going to hurt it's not going i'm not going to lose a teeth it's, it's just it's it's entertainment like and that's I, I didn't have anyone to help me, but I wish I did. And just off the strength of that, I would help someone else. Like, I'm just, I'm not a hater at the end of the day. And I want to see blacks and women in general. I just want to see us rise and prevail. And I just like women empowerment. Like, I just want to help because I know it's hard for women. And I know some of us have kids and responsibilities and things of that sort. And life could be hard and maybe you're into makeup and you want to make a living off of it so when i get to that level i would definitely be willing to help but i'm not saying like if you come to my email asking for help on my social media that i would necessarily collab with you but it doesn't mean i don't it's a chance i will but the thing is it's like realistically we can't collab with the whole world like i can't collab with everyone but i'll definitely be collabing with folks because i want to see everybody make it black white mexican any race any sex i'm, I'm just not a very open minded and i'm very helpful and i wish i had the help so when i get higher i'm definitely going to be giving back to those who watch me like it's not an issue and if you're in my personal life like yes i will help you like why wouldn't i like that shit just blew me because it's like this supposed to be your friend you're afraid to help her she's around you all the time she probably was there for you through thick and thin she probably has done a lot for you and here you is saying that you won't come out with her because you don't want to make it easy for her like i couldn't be friends with you i'm just being honest i couldn't because that's just phony and fake as hell it's a very black thing to do i hate to say it i'm not trying to be rude to black people i have black in me and I'm not being racist or not, but this is just from self-experience. Like, man, we have to do better. I hope we do better and start lifting each other up instead of being afraid of another woman or another black person prevailing or making it. Like, we have to stop, you guys. Even other races, like, just stop. Okay, so my Asian side, yes, I have Asian in me, if you guys didn't know. Asian, but yes, I have Asian in me. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be doing an Ancestry.com DNA type thing to tell you everything you have in you. So I'm going to be showing you guys that to prove to you guys that I have multiple races in me. But anyway, yeah, but she went on in that same video and she shouted out three girls that she met through YouTube that she did not know. And I'm like, oh my God, like that's so 
two faced it and fake. Like you just get all this complaining and bumping your gums about helping your friend, your real life friend that you've been knowing for God knows how long, and uh, how you didn't want to help her and this and that. And you go shout out three girls that you barely even know that you did not know. Like how fake. <laughs> I'm not trying to talk about the girl, so I'm gonna stop calling her fake. But <laughs> yeah, that is very, it's kind of artificial in my opinion. That's me. Just keeping it 1000. But yeah, she turned around and she shouted out those girls, and that was really phony. I don't know if she was doing it to hurt the girl's feeling, or she's just that fake. That she would shout someone out that she just met and not her own friend. Okay, yeah, they've been doing YouTube and all, but at the end of the day, they're already on and they don't really need your help. They're making it without you and they're going to make it without you on YouTube. And your friend, she she probably wouldn't be as lucky. So, I'm going to get the whole concept of that. So I guess her thing is don't shout out anyone that you know, but you just met them and you don't know them yet and they're, uh, they already do YouTube, shout them out. I just, I don't get that at all, but you know, everyone is different. I just had to speak on that. I'm not going to say her name just because I'm not going to make her revel in. I don't want you guys running back saying, oh, she said this about you and yada, yada, yada. So, yeah, but yeah, I really just don't want to create any beef with the girl because I don't really have anything against the girl. I just have something against the comments and against her actions and the comment that she made to her supposed to be friend. <laughs> but yeah, so most blacks act like crabs in a bucket and it's said and I just hope we stop it. And we need to quit. We really need to quit. Like ages, they stick together like for real. Like they really stick together. They not, I ain't gonna say they not worry about what the next agent doing because they do in a positive way. It's just like they support. They support each other. They, we, whatever you wanna call it that side like we support each other to the fullest like if there's an agent with a clothing line or something like that we will support it to the fullest or uh, anything like we just support us blacks we do not support at all and it said we are crafts in the bucket like we would take time out of our day just to make other blacks miserable to the point where we're not even making it in life because we're too focused on negativity. We'd rather bash this person, bash that person. I see it all the time. Girls running around complexes or the neighborhood talking about this person, that person. Like, you could be clocking in mad hours. Like, you clocking in mad hours to hate or to down the next person. You could be clocking in those hours at work. Those coins, girl, like... I just don't get it. You know, I try hanging in groups with negative individuals. You know, at hangouts and people houses and stuff like that. Just kicking it and it's just not for me. Like, I, it's just not for me because every single time it's nothing but a bunch of gossiping. He say, she say, all oh, this be this, all oh, this be that. Down in each other. And I just feel like if we would be more positive, honey. We will all be Donald Trumps and Bill Gates around here. Like, come on. Or we to even use that energy and time to take care of their kids when it be so jacked up and effed up and wouldn't be raising themselves. Like, I just be sitting there like, you got a child, you got a child, you got five kids, you got them the 10 kids, you have four kids. Like, why are y'all just sitting around here for hours just talking about other people in, in other people's business talking about oh did she break up with him he like it's just irrelevant it's not important it's just always a negative situation but i like to hang in mixed groups like a uh, fruit african americans maybe a fruit asians maybe a fruit 
Caucasians in Hispanics. I like to hang like that because it's just so much more peaceful, less drama, more than likely it's gonna be fun and he he and ha ha and real fun. Like, you know, just having a good time. We're not just standing around talking about people all day. Okay, we are females. We might mention a little something and might, you know, touch up on something, but it's not necessarily in an gossiping way. It may be even out of concern. Like the friends I hang with, that's just how we roll. Even the black ones that I hang with. Like there are very few African Americans that don't gossip and talk about each other and be in each other's business. But there are some, however, and I am one. I'm not gonna say I never talk about someone because as women, we do that from time to time, but I have to catch myself but far as me talking about people all day or for an hour straight or 30 minutes straight. No, it's just I don't have the time and energy. I could be doing some positive, making a video, donating to some homeless, anything. Like, I just refuse to spend my time in that type of way. I just, I don't understand it at all. And I probably never will. You guys, I'm just mentioning these things not to talk about African Americans or my own race, but just to shed some light on it and hopefully we change. Hopefully we change for the better and improve ourselves because that is not cool, not cool at all. And I wanna see us do better. Man, and I'm telling you guys, like some of these women be like 40 and 50, like get your life. Um, y'all just, this is what y'all do, y'all like 40. 50, they didn't really accomplish anything in you all's life and don't own a house. And I say, I see why, <laughs> because you guys choose to hang in groups and talk about the next person when this person that you're talking about might have their shit together and you could have been accomplished the same thing that this person has accomplished or even better, but you chose to stand around or sit around and talk about other people with your life for unteen years. But anyway. So yeah, like, we really need to refocus our energy and if you can help a friend or a family member to be successful, help them by any means. Like, do not be a hater, do not be afraid. It will benefit us in the long run. Like, at the end of the day, those who have kids or plan on having kids, our kids is very discriminating and if we want to break that discrimination or loosen it up some, we have to change as a race and help make change if that makes sense. Like if somebody is selling drugs or going down the wrong path, I would let them know like, no, you don't need to be doing this. You have people that love you. In the city that we're from, it is like a guaranteed death or jail sentence. So. We need to stop, we need to do something positive, we need to get a real job, okay? This money is more easier, funner, you get to hang and make money or whatever the case is with you guys, but, but it's not worth it at the end of the day. I know so many people who die living this lifestyle or that is in jail for life for living this lifestyle and it's just not worth it. And if you're watching this video and you know someone who lives this kind of lifestyle, just please try to convince him to go down a better path and to do better and yeah so because it's just not cool it, it is not face is pretty much done so i guess i'm gonna try to get this head together so yeah you guys and they may not listen and you might feel like you're wasting your breath but eventually they might come around and I hate to say it, but in worst case scenario, if they do pass or die from living this lifestyle, at least you won't have to live with that guilt. At least you can say, okay, well, I tried my best to tell this person to go down the right path. I did all that I can do. I tried to convince this person to change and they didn't want to. And this is what happened. I did what I could do. That's all you can do. This look is pretty much finished. It's not finished all the way because I'm gonna do my eyeliner and I'm gonna put on some falsies and mascara. And this look is gonna be shit popping. <laughs> Definitely gonna be popping when I get through. So if you would like to see the finished look, go to my video, my eyeliner video, and um, I will include my eyeliner, my wing liner, my inner corner liner, like Amber Skull and Aaliyah J. 
wears. And I know that a lot of people complain about Leah J not putting her eyebrow tutorial in her in the corner liner in her videos, but maybe she doesn't want to share it. I don't know what the case is, but maybe it's too hard to record. I'm about to find out if that's the case. But I'm going to do one, and when that gets up, I will link it down below. That will more than likely be up before this, so that will be down below. And the whole full finished look is going to be down there. I might make you guys wait or look at the other video down below. So, yeah, it just depends on how I'm feeling, girl. It just all depends. Milani making last spray. Like, girl, we got to make this last. We got to make this look good. But why are we making it last? It's like 4 in the morning. You have nothing to do but go to sleep. But just to get that powdery look off, we're going to make it last, boo. Make it last. But we're gonna make it fetch. This is what I love to do. But anyway, check out my next video how I do my eyeliner, falsies, wing liner, tight line, and mascara, and all of that sort. I don't know where this accent coming from, but whatever. So I hope you guys enjoyed this chit chat. Get ready with me. If you did, please comment down below and let me know. Because if you guys did, I would definitely get around to doing it more often. If not, then I would probably stop doing these because I don't want to annoy my subscribers that I have. Yeah, just let me know if you guys like this or not. If you do not, just don't say anything because I hate negativity. But if you do like it, comment down below and say do more or say I like it or love it, whatever. Just let me know. But yeah, I hope this look is popping on camera. I hope it looks good. I'm recording with a new camera and it's just like my third time recording with this. So I hope this should pop in.